Man, welcome to the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. I'm your host, AP, with your special guest, AR. In today's episode, we might run into some themes that have been previously mentioned, and you can get some additional context if you'd like. In episode 321, Double Entendre, episode 323, Philanthropy. If you'd like just a little taste, if you'd like to gain a little better understanding of some of the topics covered today, let's get this bitch on the road. They are, they are, they are like an AR, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that is my name. That is my name. No, AR um, like the AR, what you, what you is? AP, AP. AP? But, I mean, we were just talking about this one, uh, about this one case that we were in, because we got thrown into a simulation, right? Into uh, a, a simulative environment. And, uh, and, the, and, the, and the case, the fact pattern that we were given, apparently uh, stimulated, fucking uh, aroused some folks' feelings and got them triggered. <laughs> So they, got, it, they got trauma. <laughs> it made me think. It made me think. What the fuck? What the fuck are are we placed in simulations for? If not to to address conflict head on, head the fuck on. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, I see you got this this big division between like like what we call motherfucking apparently. You you can't see my hands, but but my ninja, I got I got quotations with my hands woke folks you know what i'm saying and then and then we got you know just uneducated motherfuckers right uneducated and, like uh like just like real realist motherfuckers yeah i mean and and but then you have like extremists on the other side who 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 talk about you know one, one side's talking about you know racial equity and the other side's talking about censorship and i think there's always this medium in between is it like yeah the extremists you guys are fucking racist um but like the the motherfuckers on the other side, like you 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 fools a pussy, bro. <laughs> Straight pussy. Right? Yo, the point of the simulation, the point of the simulation was to address address this conflict head on and essentially put us in through the paces, put us through uh, through the steps of working through. A scenario like this and it, it was an even worse fucking case scenario the shit didn't come to blows it was at, at, at words it was at argumentation it was at debate and motherfuckers couldn't even hack that come on bro like m- m- motherfuckers was getting all offended because uh you know oh uh, 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 I don't know man if you want to break down the fact pattern I mean at, at this point I, why, I doubt it why, could be it could be tied not? I, right. I doubt it could be tied to us. So, so go ahead. You, you got this. You got this white woman, who was a police officer. Who, nah, in the fact pattern, she wasn't white. Oh, the last yeah, name nah, was she, fucking she, she, Fiji she, or she, she, yeah, yeah, she wasn't even white, bro. I guess I just assumed that because she was, she shot a black dude. And she was a cop. <laughs> So, folks, it has been socially conditioned to the point where, like, where like the media says jump and 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 niggas literally be saying how high do i jump like yeah. it, it's just the pavlovian effect bro so this 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 police officer right uh uh-huh. she uh she went to a therapist and started talking to a therapist about her thoughts mm-hmm. and she may have made some comments that were like along the lines of like you know um I I, I picture I picture problematic potentially racialized yeah, comments right but it's it's yeah. what you would say it's what one would say in the confidences of of a therapist in order to exactly. work through their issues exactly in order to work through one's issues and a therapist being a, a licensed professional practicing their their craft with their patient uh, obviously is trained in this form of therapy in order to break down what their clients issues are and help them confront them and help them work through them in order for the therapy to be successful in order to uh, cure their patients of whatever ails them mentally so you know later on the 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 apparently the therapist was recording these sessions with with consent of the uh, of the patient and later on without the patient's consent she disclosed these tapes uh to a third party 
which we mm. became privy through. So we, so we became privy to uh, in order to to analyze whether or not there is any any form of claim for this disclosure. So we got first hand first hand view as to what these recordings contain. Yeah, and, and it, again, it's it's all hypothetical. It wasn't real. It's a simulation. Yeah. But it's just a simulation. we're we're supposed to argue. We're supposed was to treat it, it like reality. Was it was it justified for the therapist to release those tapes, mm -hmm. or was it not? Mm -hmm. Was it a breach of confidentiality, or was there justified reasons? Right. right. Pretty, pretty simple, you know, assignment. I mean, maybe not simple, but you know, a straightforward. And and these motherfuckers getting hella bent over this bitch's comment in a confidential, sealed, you know, transcript of the of the tapes, and yeah. it's like, yeah. like, which is something that like, which is something that a and and not an infinitely, but an increasingly low percentage of people even do which is go to a therapist and divulge what your deepest darkest secrets your deepest darkest fears your dreams your aspirations what you love what you hate and love and hate are some strong ass words so if you're divulging these like the inner workings of your own mind you would expect that shit to never make it to the light to see the light of day and here's why i'm hot bro here's why i'm hot because they gonna tell us we gotta change the assignment and basically censor some of the tape in a simulation because some folks on campus felt triggered about we, what was said in the recordings of these therapy sessions because because they it, it reminded them of trauma. Bitch, what trauma? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, fuck your trauma. Yeah. Rip, some rip folks are here saying some folks are here saying like by the simple by the simple fact that they have to go through with the simulation and and either pretend to be an advocate of the doctor and justify the doctor's disclosure or be on the side of the patient and justify the the, the patient's conduct after the therapy had been concluded, right? Now they believe like this shit is fucking real. Like like they're really internalizing this shit. Like, motherfucker, it, you, and here's what I'm saying, like, I, I want to make this clear, like my boy Stephen A. Smith would say, I want to make this very clear. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make this very clear. Uh, the, the the black community is my peoples, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up with my folks, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I grew up in a black community, uh, my people was black, you know, I, I, I may not be black but shit don't even matter you man. you can tell by my grammar you know what i'm saying i fuck with these motherfuckers man like for real so i, I want to make that clear because at the end of the day i don't think a lot of the black community is represented in the black movement yeah. and i think there's a very big separation between like there's a separation in the black community you got the you got the black folks that are just like i said quotation marks woke mm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and but they ain't even but, a, like like a real representation they're not even a realistic representation of yeah what community even fucking looks like regardless of color they're not and, a, they're not a representation of what community looks like they, and, they they exclude them fuck themselves they isolate themselves they and, don't want to be a part of fucking life and so the the, the white liberal they man be special the white liberal man is afraid of this black woke individual right so they 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 gotta concede even though the black woke individual he don't even represent like, probably most of the black folks you know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah. because i'm not saying that the 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 black folks don't give a fuck about you know community development obviously they do but some of these niggas take the shit too far like since when can I they say they take it for a fucking ride, bro? Si like, since when hey. is it offensive to tell you like, hey, you're being soft, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 Alec, you my nigga, bro. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's up, my nigga? Like, right. since when I gotta say the N word, bro? Man, fuck you, niggas, man, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, all, all, it's tops, hard, man. all it's, controversy, it, it, and all, all controversy intended. You know, fuck you, niggas, man. 
It really is hard, man. You know, it really is hard. When, when folks get bent over a word, folks will get bent for no fucking reason. Like, like you could you could make up a word. Like we could be modern day Shakespeare's and make up a word just to offend you. you exactly. <laughs> you ain't even looking at my intent. Like, like I I didn't tell you to go fucking pick some cotton, you nigger. Like, exactly. like no, nah, I told you, hey, how you? What's up with you, my nigga? You 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 doing good? Exactly. Like, like my intention is 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 you my brother, like. All, all brother, brother, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I, obviously, obviously, it's all it's all circumstantial. It's all contextual. Obviously, and, 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 and I'm not gonna be reckless with it. Like, I wouldn't be reckless with my piece because my mouthpiece is still a piece. Yeah, you feel me? But that goes with every fucking word. I could call you a friend, but then even in the tonality that I say it, I might be calling you a friend to your face. But those around me know that I call nobody friends. Mm. You mm. feel me? You feel me? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I mean, uh, I don't know. My my point is 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 it, is it, bro? Like, is that folks wanna? I I, I ain't finna change my 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 grammar. <laughs> folks nigga, wanna like, because you feel offended. Like, fuck talk. how you feel. You know what I'm saying? You know. Really, all I learned from the simulation is that is that folks out there, even like the toughest, most most hardest looking folks, hardest working individuals too, they they are all about their comforts. They're all about their creature comforts. They want to soften their life up. They want marshmallow ass in structure. They they they, they ain't really about the. They're not about putting in work. They're not about no. putting in the work, bro. No. Because and, all those motherfuckers out there that get offended by me saying nigga, you know what I mean? All them motherfuckers that get that, that made me motherfucking change this assignment because you a soft ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Those is the motherfuckers I hated when I did nonprofit work, when I did community <laughs> organizing work. I tell you what, man, and and and, and I, I got a word for them niggas too. Those were the fakest mother. Those were the fakest. We had a the bunch, bro. We had a word for them niggas in the nonprofit industry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Poverty pimps. Oh my God, he brought in black exploitation. Ain't nothing but ain't no, and it's not just black exploitation. There's this is poverty. There, 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 there's brown it's motherfuckers poverty doing poverty that shit right. to brown folks. There's Asian folks doing that to Asian folks. Black folks doing to black folks. You, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but a bunch of poverty, poverty pimp ass niggas out there, man. Real shit. Because at the end of the day, they ain't even helping you. You you talk about this assignment. You're just being treated like a hoe. Exactly, man. I mean. Because at the end of the day, I already explained. I'm not gonna go through the whole philanthropy process. Don't have to. We we already explained it. But at the we end of the just day, assume they know at this point. At the end of the day, when the nonprofits are looking for all these foundation grants, how do you get that money? You, you gotta go find your hoes. You gotta go find your pimp. Yeah, you gotta put them on the you, straw. You, you, <laughs> you need your numbers. You, you know what I'm saying? Put your hoes on the straw. So so it comes time to put that report on. And it's like, all right, how many black folks did I help out this this month? How many black folks did I help out this this year? And you, it's all about numbers, all about numbers, and how many black folks I can show that I've helped out this year. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and and now it becomes a game about money instead of a game about helping, mm. and, and and a game about influence instead yeah. of a game about helping. It becomes a game and, of numbers. And, and so not then people. You, you get these soft cookie ass niggas who come in here and be like, oh. In, I, I in the name of people, they run I, numbers. In, 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 the, in the literally in the name slave of, trading, bro. Exactly. <laughs> in, in the in the name of slave trade, in the name of in the name of 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 blackness. Yo. I feel offended and traumatized <laughs> by this fact pattern. Like nigga, no, you don't. You just want to you just want a platform for influence. Yo, you that's, dumb. That's the real irritating ass nigga. Like, if you really wanted to help your people out. Your people got real trauma. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You would tool them up. You, you would tool them up for success. We we got parks down the street from this motherfucker get, who got real niggas blasted. with with they, get, they got they got real issues that they get blasted and, and we in here real we in here simulate in real life. Get the fuck out of here. And, and, and and you talk about trauma over a simulation. <laughs> Like, could shut your weak weenie ass up. And then and then I'm a bad guy because I call him a fucking weenie. And then all the white people looking at me like, oh, he's you're so not offended. Weenie. So are you are you like, do you not care? Yeah. Like, no, nah, I probably care the most. Yeah, That's the and, point. And I'm brown folks, so you know what I'm saying? Like they looking at me like, oh, you don't like black people. Like, nah, oh, nigga, I don't like this black nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is the difference. This ain't all black nigga. It's like. I don't like this poverty pimp black ass nigga bro. Yo, Yo, for real. That's the that's for really. That's for really real facts right there.
and 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 it doesn't even irk me at this point. It doesn't even irk me because I gotta go with the flow. I gotta roll with the punches. If if they choose to redact facts and and make the pot of make the, uh, the the pattern the fact pattern easier to digest for all these soft stomach weak stomach ass little niggas. If they gotta make the fact pattern easier to digest, hold it down and, and like puff it and inhale slowly like a say. If they have to make the fact pattern easier to digest for all these weak stomach, no enzyme having ass motherfuckers, that's cool. You know why? Because I'm already about the real. So if they want to lighten the load for those who can't carry weight, when I see them in the real world, it's going to be cake. It's going to be fucking cake to have and to eat. That's it. That's how I see it. Like they want to exclude themselves. They want to isolate themselves. They want to protect themselves. I'm thinking from what? W what do they have to protect themselves from? Ain't well, not. turns out it's from me. It's from reality. Come, it's it's going to come to meet them when, they, when they're out of the simulation and in the real world trying to put in work when they don't have the stomach for it. And you know what the crazy part is? Is they probably do have, half of them have the stomach for it. Right. Half of them do. The ones that don't, you're absolutely right. Half of them do. Matter of fact, half of them, I guarantee you in the real world, somebody slap them with 10 G's off the retainer. Mm. They not only going to hear this case, they going to represent this bitch. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What are you saying? They can be bought? Like, they can just be they're, bought. Not, they're not. They're not. They're, they're not tripping over this fact pattern because they're offended. They're tripping over it because they get clout. Oh, this is some unprincipled ass Half of them are soft ass niggas, and yeah. the other half are raunchy, poverty pimping, clout catching ass niggas. Man, mm -hmm. it's like, come on, bro. Mm -hmm. You trying to you trying to catch clout? All right, man. Oh, I don't know, man. I I just that shit irritated me all day. Cause now I got I got different work I gotta do. Yeah, they changed the shit up on us. They change the shit up on us. I'm over here, I'm over here sharpening my fucking knives, oiling my fucking tool down, thinking that I'm gonna put in fucking delicious work, bro. Delicious work. Why? Because I got the assignment in front of me. I got the task. Finger licking. I got the task b before my eyes. I got my eye on the fucking ball, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking swing it with fucking I'm gonna I'm gonna swing it with the stick. And now and now look at me. They fucking pull my teeth out. They pull my teeth out, and I can't bark about. It. I can't say shit about it. Otherwise, so otherwise, a dentist. <laughs> Jesus. Otherwise, what? I'm insensitive? No, come on, bro. I'm just not overly sensitive. That's the difference. And let me tell you something, man. Like, I I I, I work with real ass racist niggas, man. Like. Real ass racist motherfuckers like most of the listeners do too. They just don't fucking work. Like I've I've worked with white supremacists, like straight up Nazi shit, like Same. white power, like Same. coming out their mouth. And, and honestly, they don't bother me. They're cool cats. They don't fucking bother you know, me. The, the fact that okay, maybe they if don't they, like if maybe they, they, they come don't out of pocket. How yeah. About, how about if they come if, out of pocket? Yeah. Like, but I mean, honestly, a lot of a, a lot of the shit is is because of where they grew up, who they grew up around, mm -hmm. what's cool and what's not cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm, I'm, everybody's the same way. You're a product of not just who you are, but who your relations are. There you go. So, I mean, the company you keep. The company you keep. And, 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 and to a certain degree, when you're young, you don't have no control over that. So you gotta remember that people are just people, and and you can get along with anybody if you can if you can talk if you can put mm -hmm. some put some weapons down, yeah. and just you know if you, 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 the gap, you can you can yeah you can break down you, walls you, build bridges bro. Be, and that's and that's really how motherfuckers did it back in the day man is yeah. is is they found a way to discourse, mm -hmm. and now you see you see since you know the movement black lives matter whatever it all starts picking up pace picking up pace and people are with it and it's a platform where it doesn't even represent black lives no no longer yeah it, it represents censorship it represents <laughs> motherfucking like you know uh culture domination and yeah. and and that's not what we about g yeah. we, we we about discourse it's just become a brand name and so like and folks want to rock that brand name like they want to rock Rolexes but now these these Rolexes are being started made with what foreign parts so the outside appears to be you know authentic but the insides are fucking shit ain't shit exactly man exactly it's, it's like you know 
fuck. I mean, am I racist for saying fuck Black Lives Matter? You know what I mean? Like that shit. That shit. Like everything else, even it gets then, co-opted, bro. Even then, if, if I'm in good company, I have to explain myself. I don't even mean like Black Lives. But obviously, Black Lives. Black Lives Matter. But the organization yeah. itself, like we already ran through through the topic of philanthropy. The organization itself. Go, go fucking Google it yourself. You have a fucking supercomputer in your ear right now. Go go Google that shit. Man. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you about which, which I mean, honestly, like Black Lives Matter, like the slogan. Probably wasn't the the best idea of somebody. Yeah. I mean, like, it's it's and here's the thing: is that like anybody's argument for Black Lives Matter against somebody who says All Lives Matter, their response is you gotta really you gotta read between the lines. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's not that just Black Lives Matter. Right. It's that you know, uh, of course, traditionally or historically. In the moment. Um, it, black lives have not mattered, right. and we're saying they matter just as much as everybody else. And I get it. And it, it and comes from like a point of uh, it comes from like a point of uh, reactivity, reacting to a, a, a social context, a social circumstance, and it was relevant in that time. But now they've taken the, that relevance and they've really fucking strained it to the point where like it's not even about the message of having of having uh, Black Lives Matter and protecting Black lives and empowering Black folks empowering communities that have been so long underprivileged and disenfranchised, it really ain't even about that anymore. It's just about shutting folks up who, who don't agree with the narrative for whatever reason. And you could slap Black Lives Matter on damn near anything. And anybody who says something to the contrary is a racist. Yep, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, why couldn't you? And, and the thing is like sometimes, and not always, but like, for, for a lot of people that, that aren't like, you know, like super hip to the skip on like, you know, uh, racial theory and whatnot, mm. like they hear Black Lives Matter and they're like, that sounds it. like a good message. I mean, like, yeah, who but, wouldn't? But I mean, like, what about the brown folks? Ah, oh, oh, now you racist, bro. What, because Black Lives Matter more than, than brown folks or they matter less? Well, that's, but, Why you been bringing brown folks up if but, Black but, Lives Matter? But, that, but, <laughs> but that's my point is that like, like brown people suffer too. And it's like, how about how about this? We get no love. There's there's so little uh, native brown people. Y'all remember those motherfuckers? Yeah, the, the well, what native, the fuck happened to that? Yeah, <laughs> them niggas get no love. You know what I'm saying? Like Way less love. Ravaged these motherfuckers. We bro. actually tried to exterminate those motherfuckers, yeah. and they're still kicking. Yeah. So I mean, like, I just, I don't know, man. Like, the messaging could have been different, but it's already it is what it is. Yeah. So I ain't tripping about the message itself. Yeah. But it's just that how people co-opt it and and um, and hindsight hindsight and, and, 2020 and and that's that's why you that's why you get all these like these different these like two divisions in this country hella divided because motherfuckers don't talk anymore. You see a you you hear a fact pattern that offends you and you're like, oh you know what I'm just not gonna be involved in this in in, in this and I'm gonna boycott this instead of like taking a stance and and talking about it, man like. Ain't, ain't nobody. We just asking you to talk. Exactly. Just talk and and and, and be a fucking human, you little bitch. Trash. These are trash. We can use the blue one. Like shit. These niggas trash out here too. Just like this fucking marker. <laughs> <laughs> and they got no ink. What the fuck? Literally four, man. Can't use them to write. You just use them as a as a as a little pry tool, and even then they fucking snap under pressure. Picture no palabra. Man, really. What what I expected to do in this simulation, I was unable to do. Why? Because now I got robbed of the opportunity to uh, to apply my wares, to really apply my training and, and my understanding. Now I have to deal with some some watered down version of a simulation where it's not reflective of real life. I've seen I've seen things, folks, plenty of folks, listeners to have witnessed things in real life that would make people queasy, that would make people queasy, that would make people uneasy, that would make people have to sit the fuck down, that would make people throw up. Why? Because real life is nothing like it is behind closed doors. It's nothing like it is inside of institutions, inside of professional institutions. It's not reflective of real life. Though, with these simulations, their, their purpose is to expose these participants to a piece of real life. 
so that when they do encounter it outside of the institutions, outside of the, outside of the, the, the what is it? The, what the fuck am I thinking of? The safety, uh, the safety zone? The fucking safe zone? Is mm. it safe zone I'm thinking of? When, I mean, when, when, when they leave, when they leave the safe zone of the institution that they're able to maybe uh, uh, address conflicting, address controversial subject matter in their day-to-day lives, right? Now, the, the, the fucking best case scenario, it, it probably is the best and the worst case scenario because like I said to me, these soft ass motherfuckers are just setting me up for success. Why? Because I can hack the shit. The best and the worst case scenario that can come from this is these soft ass motherfuckers, once they're out there in the real world, they're looking back and they're saying, yo, um, I was never trained for this, right? So like if they ever do encounter a situation where uh, for the sake of argument, a, a cop does shoot down an unarmed, any color person. Just a cop, for no good reason, shoots down somebody who's unarmed, and it's unjustifiable. They're not able. They're not able to fucking uh, wrap their minds around it because they can just claim. They, they can claim ignorance, but they set themselves up for this failure, for this situation. Why? Because they wanted to to feel safe in the moment. When they weren't in any real danger, all they could have had was what a conversation, a, a argument, a, a debate at most. They got trauma though. They they, <laughs> they got trauma though. They got PTSD though. AP. They real got trauma though. You gotta be sensitive. You can't be a little racist, bro. Damn, nigga. Yo, and you can't racist ass nigga. And you can't defend. Yo, and you can't defend yourself because you start defending yourself. Oh, now you defend racism. <laughs> Jeez, I mean. And here's the thing, bro. Yeah, and you heard it from AR. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think a lot of a lot of racism nowadays. Um, don't get me wrong. There's still some racist ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? But the biggest issue I think we have with racism is institutional racism, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but people throw that around like. Institutional racism, like what the fuck is that? Like, yeah, what do I, you, about, I was about you know, to check you. Know, and, check and, 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 and so, and, and so, to me, one of the real problems is how racism is entrenched in corporate capitalism. How? Well, I mean, you got to think about what capitalism is. Capitalism, in its basic concept, that's why it's called capitalism. You know, think of the root word capitalism, capital, the accumulation of capital. What is capital? I mean, it's shit. It's value that it, can be extracted from anything. Exactly. It's an accumulation of something, right? So, so the basic understanding of capitalism is that, hey, look, if we, instead of having everybody do separate work, if we have somebody consolidate capital... And then create a process where each into pers- each individual person, you know, uh, does a certain job, and all the capital is owned by one person. It will be more effective in our economy, like a corporation, right? Yeah. All the capital is collected under one entity, and everybody else is a little kink or a cog in the machine, mm-hmm. and it's super efficient, and we can produce more stuff more efficiently, which is true. You got right. Your directors and your executives at the top. Exactly, but you gotta you, you gotta think about what that means. It means that you've created a system where motherfuckers are are incentivized to accumulate capital, and what does that mean? That means they get richer and richer and richer. The richer you are, the easier it is to get richer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it promotes. The consolidation of capital continuously. Now, what does that mean? It means less people own shit. It means more people are poor and less people are rich. Now, let's scale that up. No, no, let's. And let's and, it, scale and it that means out. it means that you have inherently an advantage mm-hmm. for old money. How is old money separated? Okay. Old money was all in the hands of rich white landowners. So how is anything supposed to change if you have the same economic structure in which white people were the richest there and you didn't take their property, 
You didn't take their assets. And now you tell brown people, black people, colored folks, you can participate equally just like white people. But hey, we have all the capital and we're not going to change that. And then 100 years later, you're like, oh, people are racist. Like, that's why we don't have shit. Like, no, nah, motherfuckers, because these motherfuckers have always had shit and they, they, yeah. just, they just got more shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you're you, called uh, country, what are they called? They're called country developers. They're called nation developers, the folks at the very top. They run every single facet of your life from education from your career, from your life to your death, where where you can be fucking buried, and when you die, what they can do with your ashes. They run that shit. What you can and can't do with your own self. All day. And they do it through corporate America. There you go. Because individuals cannot live forever, but their entities can. You think Wells Fargo hasn't... Why do you think Wells Fargo got that... Old ass motherfucking wagon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because these motherfuckers was using them. They've been on one. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you had. Like the commercial sessions, 18 fucking hundred. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> these motherfuckers were insuring black slaves. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, uh, They were insuring against property loss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had, a lot of, had a lot of slave runaways lately? Go get yourself some insurance. God damn, bro. If that ain't the truth. Insurance on your nigger. Yeah, that is not like, the truth, damn. man. If that ain't the truth, man, uh, I don't know what is. And, and then you still got these same corporate entities with different names. Yeah, yeah. But the same entity. But now they're getting smarter. Like, they, they don't even have to scale up. These mother, these niggas are already at the top. All they got to do is scale out. And, and for that, they have they have the money to buy the talent. They have the money to, to, to capitalize on on other people's talent, on motherfuckers who don't know how to negotiate, motherfuckers who, who couldn't mm. who couldn't fight a day in court to represent themselves. Yep. So they're left defenseless. They're the folks in your community. They are the underprivileged. They are the disenfranchised. But what do you do instead of actually fight and instead of actually learn how to how to confront and address situations like that? You bitch and you cry and you complain and you want it easier, you want it safer, you want it softer. Come on. Come on, bro. And, and you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Yeah. Is this whole race issue that people talk about Black Lives Matter and all this other bullshit that comes up, it's this big cloud of smoke that hides the true intentions of corporate America. Like, I, and, and, my and, bad, I, I went off on a tangent. It, it's because you're scaling out. Everything, now everything, everything that comes out of a person's mouth can be commoditized. Where before it was literally people, they were buying and selling Negroes, right? Now they're buying and selling words. They're buying and selling hashtags. They're buying and selling trademarks and, and slogans and brand names. They're buying and selling black lives. You feel me? Oh, man. <laughs> black they, lives. They know what they to steal. do with it. That's steal. why you see it running through social media. And, that's why you're seeing campaigns behind it. That, that That's why you're seeing, you're seeing it being thrown up in mainstream corporate America. And why? Because there's money be, to be made behind it. And, and who do you think is funding Black Lives Matter? I wonder. Philanthropy? Could it be? We, we already know what goes on with philanthropy. Could it be? Like, come on, man. Like, how, how you... Say it ain't so, bro. How you, how you, so, how you, how you take a, a system, corporate America, that's perpetuated racial implications or racial adversities for our people and say, we're going to use this corporate entity, this corporate America, to solve our philanthropy problems philanthropy problems that will ultimately fund the movements and and now it becomes a battle between you know white country folks who ain't got shit mm -hmm. and black urban folks who ain't got shit and it's corporate america is winning just divisive bro corporate america is winning it's just divisive it's it, the it, commercial it's a cloud it's a cloud of smoke it's a cloud of smoke. Smoke and mirrors. That's what it is at the end it's of the day. Of, at, at the end of the day, in the early 1800s, or early 1900s, there was a, a late 1800s, early 1900s, there was a big push to limit corporate America and corporations. And ah, them, that's them, right. Them motherfuckers didn't. Antitrust. 
antitrust. Mm-hmm. That you you had the movements with the 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 fucking with the uh, muckrakers and all um, that. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. and, and um, like that's when that's when journalism was real. By the way, nowadays journalism is bought yeah. and paid for and by who? Who do you think fucking runs the yeah. media? And, and they, they, <laughs> they took this race issue, and they ran with it. They're like, yo, we can ha- we can divide these motherfuckers. You know, so you had the rich folks. Why have why have one wholesome market when you got two markets you can target? You feel me? They, they said we can bend the 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 the, the broke white folks mm-hmm. because right now they're like, okay, it's all the rich folks versus all all the broke folks. That's how it was. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers with no power, motherfuckers with power, and the motherfuckers with no power greatly outnumbered the motherfuckers with power. You know what I'm that saying? Has always been the case. I, as, and then they were like, well, For one king is like a. What we can do instead is we can make it a, a difference between black folks that ain't got shit, colored folks that ain't got shit, and white folks that ain't got shit. And then we'll just give each of them money and they'll like us no matter what. Mm, we'll have them eating out of our, the palm of our hand. So we'll run the shit and they'll fight against each other. And it's like, like nigga, why are we fighting? We, we both ain't got shit. You think it's me that took your shit. I think it's you that took that is preventing us from getting shit. Mm-hmm. And and really, these niggas got everything, and they're just giving us scraps. A lot of it comes down to uh, what they're to to what's being said in the form of education. How folks are being socialized. Why do you think this uh, this social distancing? It ain't helping us, man. Like we can't come we can't come close. To one another physically and that means a lot why because when you're in close proximity to another there's a certain form of intimacy that comes with being able to tell secrets being able to tell sensitive confidence confidential information to have someone in confidence and being able to speak with them privately right so with more social distance they're able to pump this this shit through the media through your facebook timeline through your instagram timeline and you got nobody to talk to about it Instead, you stuck at home, uh, what's it called, uh, d- depressed scrolling, fucking yeah. depressed scrolling through your fucking feed, just getting livid, or maybe not even get livid, maybe you're feeling down and you're feeling sad and you're feeling depressed, maybe you feel like a fucking victim, maybe you feel like you've been taken advantage of, why? Because they're not showing you a way out for a reason, they're not showing you an opportunity for growth they're for a reason. You, they're just showing you people to be mad at Yo. They're just showing you how to feel down. They're just showing you people to be mad at. They're showing you quote unquote oppressors, even though nobody's, I mean, it's illegal, right? In the United States to own a slave, but slavery ain't gone in like a thousand other parts of the world. They just had, uh, they just had, the slave trade is alive and living in like Libya, bro. Like that shit is, that shit is hot right now. Yeah, it's it's also get, alive and living in- You can for like a thousand and a half out there. <laughs> I mean, shit, it's also alive and living in, in motherfucking our prison institution, man. Oh, man, but that ain't slavery, though. That's called, uh, what's yeah. that called? Just punishment? Dessert yeah. punishment? Shit, man. Yeah, that. <laughs> That's what they said about the slaves. They That's deserve exactly that shit. That's what they said about us. The <laughs> they, they're less than human. They deserve that shit. Everything can be rationalized, fam. At you the know end of the day, saying? and that's that's what we're trying to get at. So if you rationalize being safe, then you will do one. If somebody rationalizes their safety being a priority, they will do what they have to to feel safe, especially when they have some perceived level of power to change it. Yep. And yeah, granted, you know the, the the simulation we were just put in was necessarily in our control. And folks have found this lever for control, and they're addicted to pushing it. They're addicted to pressing it. Why? Because the more they press it, the more they bitch, the more they whine, the softer it gets. And the more clout they get. And the more, damn, I keep forgetting. Like, it, you, and you're absolutely right. It is a... Uh, it's a, a clout chaser. Uh, a, what's it called? A reward uh, feedback loop? Yeah. It's, it's, how, it's, it's how they get power. It's a reward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they get off on it, bro. They get off on it. Yeah. Power is intoxicating. I won't lie. Yeah. I mean, like, like, if... All right, and here's the bottom line I, I'll leave you with, man, is if you, a motherfucker that is chasing clout with this race car, so talking that, about trauma for some bullshit-ass reason, you a bitch, <laughs> like, you really, you really clouding the issue, you, 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 you He's perpetuating, money, money you, water, you man. hurting your people, you yeah. a poverty pimp, yeah. you hurting your people for the sake of your own clout, nigga, fuck you, 
You ain't with the movement. You fucking up the movement. I hope I meet you in corporate. Bitch Hell yeah, man. we gonna be there, nigga. Corporate cowboys all day, nigga. Have a nice weekend. Proof of life is 13th. Sorry, is uh, Thursday, October 14th. Have a good night.